Electro Boom and want some Minecraft friend. Hello everyone, it's Dandy yet again with another modded Minecraft tutorial, and today we're gonna follow up with the Cole Coke oven by creating something uh, from immersive engineering called the Water Wheel, an early game power source that is very useful. Let's get into it. Okie dokie, this should look familiar from the last video. These are our cold coke ovens that we used to make creosote oil. And creosote oil is the material that we are going to use to create water wheels. Now this is where the water wheel is going to go, but it's not set up yet. We have to build that. So we'll get right into it. The first thing you're gonna need is creosote oil. Now I'll do a quick refresher. If you wanna know how to build these ovens, go check the last video. But to create the resources we need, you're gonna need your creosote and some oak planks. I'm not gonna make all the stuff we need here, but just an example of what it might would look like is you have to take your bucket of creosote oil and surround it with any kind of plank and that will get you treated planks because we're going to need treated planks today and treated sticks which you can make from treated planks. I went ahead and prepared a ton of these so we're gonna go ahead and take a full stack of each. So what we need is the water wheel segment. The water wheel segment is made out of three planks and four sticks so you're gonna come over to your table take your three planks on the bottom like a little pyramid and then four sticks and a plus sign and you'll get a water wheel segment. Now you're going to need four of these to create a water wheel. So here are your four water wheel segments, but oh no, there's no recipe for that because the final piece you need is a steel ingot. We're not gonna go over how to make those in this video, but you do need them to create a finalized water wheel. So I'll run through that one more time. It's going to take 12 of these treated planks and 16 uh, of the treated sticks and you're gonna make a plus sign out of the water wheel segments and put a steel ingot in the middle and you will get your water wheel. So a water wheel, when placed in the world, looks a little something like this. Oh. It's a big, beautiful creation and uh, it'll make energy for you. But how does it make energy? You're going to need to get that thing spinning with some water. I already set this up perfectly sized for the water wheel. So we'll come up here, go around and put the water right in the top of this little alleyway. Now, if we go down here, you'll be able to see that the water wheel is slowly spinning. As it's being touched by the water, it'll slowly spin this water wheel and create energy for you, but you have to harness that energy. Before we show you how to harness though, I do want to show you all this. If you break the water wheel, you'll get it back, no worries. So there it is, pick your water wheel up, and you'll notice I have these two blocks. I placed it on the outermost block because that's just in the range of this flowing water. You'll see how fast it was spinning. Closer in, notice how quickly the wheel is spinning. But if you break this wheel and place it farther out, it will spin ever so slightly slower. It's a little hard to notice, but it does affect it a little bit. So now let's get into harnessing this energy. So to harvest power from these, we need a kinetic dynamo, but that's a little complicated because you have to be able to make sure that this open face is facing the side of the water wheel. So this has to be what you put the water wheel on. So to get that to work properly, we are going to have our water wheel placed and we'll get just some of our regular oak planks and we will create a line out to the center there so that will be right here that's where the center of our water wheel is we'll go ahead and break this and then go replace it properly on the dynamo so that we can collect energy from it again you have to make sure that the water wheel center is connected to the open slot in the kinetic dynamo so we'll put the dynamo right there you can see the slot and we'll put the water wheel on that slot and now the water wheel is moving and the kinetic dynamo will start gathering energy. From there, what you're going to want to do is take an LV, well, we'll go ahead and put down an LV capacitor. Capacitors are essentially big old batteries, and you're going to want to put your wire relay on top of your capacitor. You can come up here now, back to where we placed this item down, and put a capacitor on top of it. From there, we will be running the wire coil from the that connector to this connector. And you can see these two things are connected. All right, pardon the delay. I had to rearrange some things. You'll notice this looks a bit different. Um, it's not generating power now, and that's just because of an issue that I, I was doing some looking into, and it's just a creative mode thing. I set some stuff up weird when I was testing earlier, but yeah, this will work. You have to make sure you shift right click to place the water wheel onto the LV wire re or onto the kinetic dynamo, connect them with the wire relays, and it will generate power for you. So don't worry that it says it's not generating power. This will work. Another thing to make sure though is to make sure that you keep a nice open schematic you want your water wheel to have breathing space mine being right up against this wall can affect the way the power is generated but 
again, it's this is just something that you have to watch out for. Another very important thing that you can note, and I'll just do it right here for show, is uh, so you have to have it at least four off the ground because that's the size of the water wheel. But uh, you can have, when you're making power, up to three water wheels back to back to back rolling to generate more power. And obviously the faster that they move, the quicker you will generate your power, store it in these capacitors, and then you can use that to run all your various machines for immersive engineering. Also note, the engineer's hammer that I showcased last video can be used to rotate these kinetic uh, dynamos so it'll be easier to get things, get them positioned properly if, it's, if you're having a hard time facing the direction you want to place it. This works for honestly most of these uh, immersive engineering type things and like we mentioned earlier, uh, even chests. So it works with a whole, a whole slew of things. Another uh, resource I would recommend as you're getting into this is making sure you get an engineer's manual. This is the overall book on how to do everything immersive engineering, but of course, it's always nice to have a guide to show you how to do it manually. Either way, this has been how to create and utilize water wheels to start your power journey in immersive engineering using kinetic dynamos and capacitors. If you want to know how to make these machinery and the electronic parts of this setup, let us know. We'd be happy to do the tutorial. And we we might even knock it out over the next week or two anyway. Either way, thank y'all so much for watching. It was a journey setting up the water wheels and it'll start you on the beginning of your immersive engineering adventure with power and machinery. And you'll be able to get some really cool machines and even a cool weapon or two out of that mod. So definitely press forward in it and make sure to get that book or to ask us for more tutorials so that we can help y'all out. Thank y'all so much for joining Key Smash for this video. Subscribe if you feel like it to join our little family and have a beautiful day. Bye.